Good morning everyone. Today we are going to see the new chapter that is the AMD. So what is AMD? When an organic compound is carrying NH2 group that is called the AMD. When you will see that how many type of the amine on the basis of the degree of the compound, you can see that there are three different type of amines. The first one are NH2. Having one alkyl group is considered as a primary amine. Having two alkyl group R NH R dash is called secondary amine. And when it is R N R dash double dash then it is called the tertiary amine. इससे पहले चैप्टर में हमने देखा था कि व्हाट इज द नंबर ऑफ बीटा कार्बन दैट इज कॉल्ड द डिग्री ऑफ कंपाउंड बट हियर इन दिस केस इट इज नॉट द बीटा कार्बन इट इज द नंबर ऑफ एल्किल ग्रुप व्हिच सजेस्ट दैट व्हाट इज द डिग्री ऑफ द कंपाउंड इफ द नंबर ऑफ एल्किल ग्रुप इज जस्ट वन इट विल बी प्राइमरी टू सेकेंडरी थ्री टर्शियरी द बीटा कार्बन डजंट मैटर इन दिस केस सो दिस इज द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शियरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एमी Each of the amine having NH2 group or the substituted NH2 with a lone pair of electron, and because of the reason, system is quite reactive by the nature because each of the lone pair of electrons take part in the reaction. So the amines are very much reactive, having lone pair of electron on the nitrogen. Now we are going to see the nomenclature of the compound, nomenclature of the amine. So what will be the name? The name will be alkene plus amine. For example, if your compound is CH3, CH2, NH2, then what will be the name? This is the two-carbon system. That is alkene plus amine. Both the both the. That is the alkene amine. Okay. If this is the compound CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, NH2, then what will be the name? When you will start the numbering one, two, three. On position number two, there is a methyl group. So two methyl. Okay. Three carbon system. That is the main chain. Propane. Plus amine. Then this is the two methyl propena amine. <coughs> Now see CH three, CH two, CH two, NH, and CH. Again, this is the methyl propena amine. But in this case, the <coughs> methyl group is not attached on the carbon chain. The methyl group is attached on the nitrogen. Then what will be the positioning of this methyl group? One, two, three. The ball is at the side. Is it? What is it? Nitrogen is placed over. Nitrogen is simple. C represent. Then it is the N methyl propane amine. And what type of amine it is? Primary, secondary, or tertiary? One LP and another LP, two LP group, so it is secondary. Okay. Then this is the nomenclature of the amine. If you will see the aromatic system, this one, this is benzene plus amine. That is the benzene. Well known as N. Now we are going to see the preparation of the amine with the help of different methods. So the first method for the preparation of amine is by redox. This is the compound from nitro compound. This is R N O two, and you will have to convert it in the form of R N S. Then what will be the process? The removal of oxygen 
and addition of hydrogen is taking place and this process is called reduction so we will reduce the material so it is palladium in presence of hydrogen and the after reduction it will form the amine from nitrite this is the r c n and you will have to convert it in the form of r and c in this reaction again cn should have to convert in the form of the ch2 nh2 ch2 nh2 again the addition of hydrogen is taking place and if the addition of hydrogen is taking place there must be a reducing agent to yahan pe palladium aur hydrogen ke sath treat karenge एक माइल्ड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट है तो यहां पे नाइट्राइल प्राइमरी एमी में कन्वर्ट हो जाएगा आर सी एच टू एन एस एंड इफ यू आर ट्रीटिंग द एम आई आर सी ओ एन एस टू Again with the same reagent, that is the reducing agent. You can see again the reduction is needed for the preparation of amide. Then it will be R C H two N H two. That is from amide. So all of these of the three reactions are almost identical reaction. All of these three reactions are the reduction process. So this is the way for the preparation of amine. That is by the reduction of nitro group. By the reduction of nitrile, by the reduction of amide, we are seeing the next reaction that is the ammonolysis. When ammonia is treated with the haloalkane, it forms amine. CH three, CH two, NH two, along with HCl. If we will treat the haloalkane again with the system it will form the secondary amine and for the treatment it will form the tertiary amine the next step of the reaction will be called alkylation this step is called the ammonolysis of the haloalkane when we go for the next preparation that is the gabriel halimide synthesis the reaction is only used for the preparation of the primary amine secondary and tertiary amines cannot be prepared by the reaction because in this halimide this is the halimide and this is the halamide the names are almost identical so i have drawn both the structures so in this halimide you can see that nitrogen is already combined with the two carbons here and as the two carbons are already bonded with the nitrogen so these of the bonds are not going to break and this is the reason why the secondary and tertiary amine cannot be prepared by gabriel halimide synthesis the reaction is only used for the preparation of the primary amine and even the aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared by this process only aliphatic primary amines now we are going to see the reaction this is the halimide when it is treated with the potassium hydroxide by the loss of water it means the potassium salt of the halimide now the haloalkane is treated with this one a nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and by the loss of potassium halide it forms the alkyl halimide it must be seen that this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction that means only the alkyl halides can undergo the reaction aryl halides cannot undergo the reaction क्योंकि एल्किल सिस्टम सी न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सिट्यूशन रिएक्शन कर सकते हैं एल्किल सिस्टम करने के लिए कैपेबल नहीं है नाउ दिस एल्किल एमआई एल्किल हैलीमाइड विल बी ट्रीटेड विद द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड व्हिच रिजल्ट्स सोडियम हैलेट अलोंग विद द प्राइमरी एमीन सम टाइम वी फाइंड दैट यू राइट दिस कंपाउंड दैट इज द सोडियम हैलेट बट दिस प्राइमरी एमीन इज नॉट रिटेन एक्चुअली द रिएक्शन इज ओनली फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द एमीन एंड दिस इज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट दिस इज द बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रिएक्शन सो दिस product must be written after the reaction so the question is asked that why the primary aromatic amines cannot be prepared by the gabriel halimide synthesis the primary aromatic amines cannot be prepared by gabriel halimide synthesis because in this reaction 
which is a nucleophilic substitution reaction the haloarenes does not take part in the reaction because the haloarenes does not support the nucleophilic substitution reaction and the aryl group cannot approach on the nitrogen so it is not possible to prepare the aryl primary amine so the aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared by the gabriel thalamide synthesis because haloarenes does not support the nucleophilic substitution reaction now we are going to see one of the most important reaction of the chapter that is the hoffman bromamide degradation this is one of the reaction in which the product have one carbon less than the parent hydrocarbon or parent amide if this one have the three carbons the product must contain only two carbon so in this reaction when amide is treated with bromine and sodium hydroxide it forms amine having one carbon less that means this carbon and carbon will be lost during this process so the compound will be ch3 ch2 ns2 along with nadr na2co3 and what now we are going to see the physical property of the amine when we will talk about the color the compound is colorless and we have already discussed that why the compounds are colorless i have said that because of the lack of excitation of electron the compound is colorless even the aniline have a little color that is the camel brown color other species are colorless when you see the smell it have unpleasant smell boiling and melting point is quite high due to the hydrogen bonding the amines are capable to form the hydrogen bonding and this is the region where the amines have higher boiling and melting point but when you will compare the primary amine with the tertiary and secondary amine you will find that the boiling and melting point of the primary amine is higher than the secondary and tertiary amine because in the case of the primary amine there are two hydrogen bonding whereas in the case of secondary only one hydrogen bonding and in the case of tertiary there is no any hydrogen bonding so you can see that the tertiary amine have the least boiling and melting point due to the lack of hydrogen bonding last one that is the solubility they must be soluble due to their capacity to make the hydrogen bonding so as these are the compounds are capable to make the hydrogen bonding they are easily soluble with the water 